Hey everybody, the poets here. It's my gamer tag, and uh, what we're going to be doing here today is reviewing the 3970X, the newest Threadripper, 32 core, 64 thread bad boy by AMD, uh, and we're going to be running a Blender benchmark here. Previously, in my video I ran the BMW one. Uh, we're going to run another popular one, Classroom. Classroom is uh, done quite often, a little bit more intense than the BMW one. Uh, and before then, I'm just going to run uh, CPU-Z a few times so you guys can see some of my settings. You know, not everybody's apples to apples on all of their reviews uh, and uh, systems. So you'll see AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X. Here we have uh, the main board, Gigabyte, Ors Master, TRX40 on the latest uh, BIOS, F4E, and of course uh, my RAM, it's uh, G-Skills 3600 uh, on its uh, XMP setting, and these are the timings. So um, I always say I'll deal with the uh, timings later, uh, because that's always a, a trial uh, overclocking RAM, so, uh, or tightening timings as well. Uh, EC temp 1 is my current water temperature. It's of 28 degrees Celsius. I'm running the uh, Enthulux 2 case uh, with a 360 rad up top, 60 millimeter, a 480 rad in the front, 26 millimeter, and a 360 rad on the side panel. Um, that's also 26 millimeters. Uh, these are all the fans. I'm about 10 120 millimeter Silent Wings 3 fans and two 140 millimeter Silent Wings fans, uh, all running silent oddly enough <laughs> and uh, can't even tell my system's on so we're gonna hit this render uh, image right now and you'll see the power of this uh, processor I'm gonna overlap this a bit so you can get a better idea of uh, what's going on here and I'll even bring some of this in look at that 100% utilization 64 gigs of RAM there uh, Vega 64 is getting some work in here though uh, but actually, I'm running OBS, so that's uh, the OBS running. So obviously, without OBS, uh, this would probably run a little bit more effective. Uh, but I'll get a uh, second system uh, up and running probably this weekend. Um, holidays coming up, you know, more time to just kind of relax and tinker and do all that stuff, and definitely have some more cigars more than usual. Uh, so with this channel, I'm going to be doing a mix of things, um, definitely enjoying cigars, definitely messing around with tech, uh, reviewing some phones, the current phone of the moment is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G, and I am in Los Angeles, and we have 5G here in Los Angeles. We've had it actually for over a month now, it was just randomly by the Staples Center, and I was on 5G, um, and hey, 900 megs per second download is amazing. Uh, especially in crowded areas. So as you can see, this classroom render is just flying right through this. We are already at a minute 32. It's saying roughly 41 seconds left. Yeah. So for um, workloads, production, it, it literally just doesn't get better than this. Um, yes, Apple came out with their new insane... Um, <laughs> A computer uh, that uh, that pro model is uh, definitely insane and there's a lot of reviewers that have been uh, just uh, loving it does a lot in terms of CPU power though yes this definitely outperforms it by a nice little margin um, AMD did something nice uh, so here we go two minutes 15 seconds for classroom render in blender Two minutes, 15 seconds. Not too bad. Water temps did go up uh, a couple of degrees. Um, hit 31. Yep. So uh, I actually have a lot of fluid in the system. So the point of that really is just to make it a longer time frame for the temps to rise. Um, obviously, the longer the temps stay low, the more oomph you'll get out of your system. Um, and uh, it, 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 it helps a little bit. Um, and the other part is I just added another reservoir because this Enthulux 2 case is large and in charge and uh, I needed to fill some space in there too. So not too bad. Um, see the max uh, 
core clocks here, uh, current ones, and um, and the minimums as well. And uh, the temperatures held up quite nicely. Um, kind of a range across the board. Looking forward to getting a new water block. The current one I'm using is a EKW uh, B water block, but uh, I have one from Optimus coming that they are uh, brand new, specific for Threadripper 3. Uh, that uh, they have fins that uh, cover more than the entire surface area of the IHS, which is amazing. Uh, so I can't wait to get that in. So thanks a lot, guys, um, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. We're definitely going to be having more benchmarks uh, coming very soon. Uh, all right, stay tuned for more. See you in the next one. Peace.